Hey, YTBC, how's it going? I'm smoking a Stanwell freehand. Look at the plateau on there. Very nice pipe. Today, I want to show you my English estate pipes. As you know, or may not know, 303 British Shell Tamper. Uh, as you know, or may not know, I love my English estate pipes. So, let me show them to you. Now, I'm going to be bending over. Everything's laid out on the floor here. So, excuse that. Let's get to it. First, we have a crown from 1985. Smooth. We have a Sir Douglas, made by Blakemore Pipes, Sir Douglas Aristocrat, smooth. One of the uh, shorter pipes that I have. We have a Middleton Old Mariner from 1980. Smooth. Middleton Old Mariner from 1980. A rusticated sunrise. This is an off brand. Uh, it escapes me of what it is an off brand of. This is a sunrise, rusticated, and this is from 1968. Look at that, 1968. And this is a Dr. Plum. Now some Dr. Plums were made in France, some were made in England. This is an English made Dr. Plum from 1970. How about that, huh? I was eight years old when that was made. Eight years old, 1970. And of course, my two workhorses, my Barlings. One is a pre-transition before a Barling changed around. One is not, and I forget which one is which. I should have wrote it down. I advise that when you get estate pipes. Uh, and if you have multiple brands like these two, write it down. These are my Barling workhorses. As I've said before in previous videos, you could run these over with a tank. You could drop them all day long. These are just some tough pipes. You could smoke them all day, multiple times. They don't get hot. They don't get goopy. If you use heavy aromatic, yeah, these are, these are some workhorses. So those are my English estates. Um, I just, I've just always gravitated towards estate pipes from English. I have one or two other estate pipes. Uh, they're Savinelli's, but uh, I'm a big English estate pipe fan. So there you go. Those are my estate pipes. Hope everybody has a great weekend. And uh, as always, thanks for stopping by.